What does private label mean on Amazon? In this video, I'm going to tell you everything I know about private label, what that word means, and what it means in the world of Amazon. So stay tuned and uh, watch the end of the video so that way it gives you a better idea of this term so that next time you hear someone drop the word private label, you know what they're talking about. And maybe you can even chime in. So, um, all right, let's do it. Hi, my name's Cam. I've been doing Amazon Retail Arbitrage for about three years now. Before that, I did Wall Street for five years. And the fact that I left Wall Street for Amazon, it means that there's money to be made, so don't sleep on it. What does private label mean on Amazon? Apparently, this is another question that's also searched a lot on Google. I want to do my best to provide that information to you guys so that if you're interested in doing private label or Amazon FBA, you got the information you need to thrive. I'm going to answer that in two parts, like what private label means as a whole and if there's an Amazon version of that, okay? Private label means simply putting your brand on a product, right? If you break it down, the two words, private and label, private means it's, it's private, it's like yours, it's mine, it's, it's privately owned versus publicly owned, okay? And now label is just another word for brand. The fact that you put your label, like you put your name tag on it, it's yours. So if you put it together, private label, the label is privately owned by you. Okay, if you get a product, and you label it and you put your brand on it you put your name on it it's yours okay so for example there's a lot of shoes there's a lot of running shoes out there then there's nikes and then there's adidas those are privately owned by nike and adidas okay for example if you were to sell something on amazon that's kind of generic like a bottle opener if you sell a bottle opener you go to china you source a bottle opener you sell on amazon with no label generic label that is not owned by you it's not yours and that means anyone who wants to sell a bottle opener, they can literally buy a bunch of bottle openers and sell it on that same listing, which can be a problem. So that's why people opt in for the private label because once you own the product, like for example, if you have the private label bottle opener, say I call it Cam Super Bottle Opener, right? If I list that on Amazon, Cam Super Bottle Opener, if you don't have a Cam Super Bottle Opener, you can't sell it. Like if it doesn't have name tag or the brand, the logo on it, you can't use that listing or else it's marked as fake products. So the good thing about having a private label is that once you have your own brand, you can register it on Amazon, which is called brand registry. And when you register the brand, now only you can sell that product. Okay, if someone else tried to jump into your listing, they can't because now they're blocked. Chances are once you have the brand registry, a lot of people can't sell your product on Amazon, which is good because it blocks you, protects you, it protects your listing. Because a lot of people hijack listings because apparently it's a thing like say you do all this work, you create a listing, you put a product up, say like phone cases or whatever, and then say black phone cases, but you don't put like a brand on it. You sell a bunch of black phone cases and then a lot of people from like, not China, but like a lot of people, a lot of suppliers will see that this listing is available with no brand. They will find the same products and list it on that same listing, which over time steals your listing because then now they can charge less or they can charge a better price or something. They'll steal the listing and boom, it's hijacked. So it's common, be careful. That's why people opt in for the private label. Now, if you're wondering if Amazon has a private label, yes, they do. If you see products that are called Amazon Basics, those products are owned by Amazon. If you were to buy like, I don't know, like a garbage can or like a pencil or like an eraser and they have Amazon basics, that means those are privately owned by Amazon. You can't sell the same product. Even though you have the same garbage can, you can't sell it because it's not Amazon basics. It doesn't have the logo on it, right? So that's how people protect the products. Also, that's how Amazon takes over the world. Like if you are killing it in the mop game and they come out with an Amazon basics mop, they can steal a lot of your uh, sales. But that's a different story. That's private label in a nutshell. I hope that gives you an idea of what that is uh, please give me a like if this is valuable in any way shape or form it'll really help me out as a young youtuber don't forget to subscribe my channel is about how to make money online whether it's amazon or other ways and i want to do a lot about personal development content that's coming out soon so stay tuned to that thank you guys for your support and uh as always have a nice day peace